This is John, this is Troy, and I'm Josh, um, and we've got an idea for an app uh, which is called uh, Pick Me Up. It's uh, Map My Run, uh, Sleep Cycle, and your calendar all combined together. Uh, and the way we see it is that it's going to optimise your personal performance through your calendar. So this, this is Joe. This is average Joe. He's a busy executive, and his performance at work uh, and, and through his life is influenced by his lack of sleep lack of regular water and exercise. Just look at his calendar, it's absolutely crazy and he doesn't have the time to work out his health issues any, or, or maximising his health, he just doesn't. Uh, so we thought there has got to be lots of people just like Joe. So we took a survey of 100 busy uh, professionals and we found out that they weren't sleeping enough, that they weren't getting enough exercise. Uh, and 65% of them said that they would love an app to beat that fatigue. And 74% of those said that they would be okay with paying more than $2 for that app. Um, so this idea actually came out of a study uh, that uh, Troy did at the University of Western Australia. Um, they actually were doing a study on the correlation between breast cancer and shift work. And it turns out there's actually no correlation. But <laughs> there are four signs to, to get you back into, uh, to, sorry, to, to help you beat fatigue. And those four signs are exercise, uh, hydration, uh, sleep, and sunlight. And there are literally hundreds of apps out there that all try and tackle at least one of these problems. But there is no app that, tr that does all four of them, which is what we propose. So I'll give you to Troy to run through some of the features of our app. And it really is for for Joe as easy as A, B, C. A, pick me up imports Joe's calendar. B, pick me up automatically schedules task in the optimal position with the optimal task for Joe in his calendar. C, Joe just ticks off the task as he completes them. And voila, as we go, Joe's score gets automatically generated into a report card. He gets points for completing the task. He loses points if he doesn't. And tallies his score at the end, which goes into a tracking performance for over time. Now, the benefits of this is that he will learn exactly what his body needs. He will feel better as a result. And he will be able to track his well-being over time, which will increase productivity and performance. But that's not all. <laughs> he gets to share his results with his friends and anyone he wants. He gets to aggregate the data with teammates or any group of his interest. And he can manage all that through a web-based system. Now, over to John to talk about the business model. Okay. So, there are a number of ways that we can uh, generate revenue for this, and, and I think the, the, the most obvious ones are just through app store sales and through subscription to software as a service. So, the first thing, if we look at our target market, from a very broad perspective, anyone who's busy is in our target market. So, that's all of you here. That's mums, that's students, that's shift workers, but our sweet spot is the busy executive and the corporation that hires him or her. And that includes the HR managers and project managers who deal with people in a large group situation. So in terms of being able to monetize this, the first thing we want to do is to turn it into a habit. So we give people away a, a free trial for 30 days so they can use it, see the benefits of it, and turn it into something that they can get daily benefit from. From that, we can generate uh, a revenue through app store sales, charging, uh, let's say, $1.99 for a download. And as we start to build the data, as people start to see the value, then we can really look at an ongoing cash flow scenario where we can charge a fee per user per month to corporations who are using them in large group situations. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, 
obviously we can't cover everything and all the the, uh, the medical research that's gone into this. So uh, if you have any questions about that, we're uh, totally open to it. Um, well done, guys. Um, I really like this because I acutely identify with the problem um, <laughs> and I've tried a few of the apps that kind of measure sports or whatever, but I guess the problem with them is that um, with, with any kind of platform is that rubbish in, rubbish out. So you need to keep putting in uh, your data constantly. How do you keep people uh, from getting tired of doing that after a couple of weeks? Uh, well, the... The whole thing is it, it's not changing any of that uh, data input habit that they would already have. So if you're already using a calendar system, this just takes that calendar system and layers that information over the top. So we're not asking you to do any extra work. Right, nice, nice presentation, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'd love to hear if it actually works. That is, if you've got a plan to measure it through before and after some sort of impacts, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm very impressed in your progress. I saw this on the first day and just wrote it off. So that's, that's actually <laughs> fantastic. And I like the fact you can actually program a snooze for 4.30 in the afternoon to judge. <laughs> um, I like this a lot too, and, and again, I am the target demographic. Um, uh, my think, something to think about is, is adding more features because, the, again, as Darcy said, this can get really boring. I've used five or six of these. They get really boring really quickly, um, and you have to make them customizable without making them a drag. Yeah. Oh, could I? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, we do have some ideas for, for adding features. So, so a good example would be the amount of caffeine that you take in per day. So uh, <laughs> alcohol? two alcohol. cups is fine. <laughs> Anything over that, you start to minus it. And yes, Steve, alcohol as well. A <laughs> uh, couple of things from me. Um, have you actually validated with any of the HR or corporate groups that um, they would use this? Not HR people specifically. We just we, what we did do is go straight out to our database of people, and we only selected people for the survey who were uh, in that executive position. My second thought is, um, being a working mother, if you could tell me what I should or shouldn't be feeding my kids at what time, that would actually be very helpful. I think we can layer that in. Yeah.